Well, welcome to our midweek meditation on this October the 13th, the Wednesday after the 20th Sunday after Pentecost. The scripture for today is a bit longer than we are accustomed, since it comes from both the Old and the New Testaments. It comes from Isaiah and from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. When I first read the scripture from Isaiah, I was reminded of Handel's Messiah, and the chorus says, Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows. We all like sheep have gone astray, and he was wounded for our iniquity. The scripture goes like this. Surely he has taken our grief, borne our pain, and bore our suffering. We considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. We are all like sheep gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. And he has suffered. He will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will, will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death was numbered by the transgressors. He bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. And from the Gospel of Mark we read, Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked them. They replied, Let one of us sit at your right hand and the other at your left in your glory. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, You will drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized. But to sit at my right or my left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. When the ten heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be first your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Today's morning and evening prayer, Father God of creation, what a gift you have given us. For this morning, or for this evening, I want to reflect on who I am and what being a Christian means through this poem in each of my meditations today. In the special prayer or poem, God of all creation, what a gift you have given me to be born in a time of one globe, one people, one economy of mixed genes, cross-fertilized by rituals and food, faith and art, music and media, trade and politics, even terror, war and death. What chaos, what creativity, whose am I? You are my God and I am your person. Hallelujah. Amen. Today's intercessory prayers 
are preceded by the morning and evening prayer. In the morning, help me to see the plank that is in my own eye, shared by all, with all people who refuse to see and hear on you. And in the evening, open me to your unconditional love so that I may love my neighbors near and far, here and now. In our prayers of intercession, God of creation, God of wonder, hear this offering of prayer and praise as a gift from our thankful hearts. We thank you for the wonders all around us, for grains of sand, the smell of rain falling on dry ground, for the shifting of the seasons and the sound of laughter. We thank you, God, for one another, for the joys and struggles of relationships that nurture us and help us to grow. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we thank you for your eternal presence in our midst and for the good news of your deep abiding love for all of creation. Even as we give thanks, we lift up the concerns that burden us this day. We ask your peace and blessing on all of those that we have named. And today, and all of those names and circumstances that remain in the safe sanctuary of your spirit's care. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit, and for all who provide care for the needs of others. We pray for the lonely and the despairing, for those who struggle with addiction, for those who feel trapped in situations of abuse, for those who are making difficult decisions, who are making difficult decisions in life, God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we pray for your church and its mission in the world. Bless all of your children, God, and pour your spirit upon us, bringing healing, comfort, and strength wherever it is needed. All this we ask in the name of the one who calls us forward toward in faith, toward in faith Jesus Christ our Lord. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. So then, as one called to lead in the way of Christ, catch me and guide me to your wisdom and your word. Today's morning and evening closing prayers are in the morning. Dear God, wake me to really understand the person who seems most different in my life this day. Thanks be to Christ. Amen. In the evening prayer, Cleanse my spirit through this night with dreams configured for my light to see and hear anew. Thanks be to Christ. Amen. Well, that concludes today's meditation. Our evening Bible study group continues to meet on Zoom at 7 o'clock. Please join us as we continue working through the Gospel of Luke tonight with Luke 3. And of course, join us at church for fellowship on Sunday at 11 o'clock and for worship at noon in the sanctuary or at home using our Facebook, Facebook page. God bless and have a wonderful day. See you again October the 19th.